So we're going to do this in two ways. Chart method is one way. And a method like FOIL for the other way. You'll find out. It's really, it's as far as efficient, if you wanted to use a little bit less paper, probably the one that's like FOIL. But they're going to be relatively the same amount of work. Mm-hmm. So for the chart method, you think of this as an area. And if you would draw a rectangle with an area, and you make this your length and this is your width, well, I would have x plus 3. So I could split it up into two parts that way. And x squared, 2x, and minus 3, split it into 3 that way. And it's like a multiplication chart now. Can you fill in what it would be if you did x times x squared? You would get x cubed. And if you did x times 2x, you get 2x squared. x times minus 3, minus 3x. 3 times x squared will be 3x squared. 3 times 2x will be 6x, and 3 times negative 3 will be negative 9. Then you just put them all together. Do we have any like terms? Yes, we do. 2x squared and 3x squared are like terms. And the 6x and the minus 3x are like terms. So our final answer will be x cubed plus 5x squared. 6x minus 3 will be plus 3x minus 9. That's the chart method. It's based on an idea of area. The like foil method says to multiply out like this. This one gets multiplied just like before, first times first. But this one also gets multiplied to that one, also to that one. And down here, the 3 gets multiplied to here to the 2x, and it also gets distributed there. So it's like FOIL, except we got first ones. What would you call this first one and that one? It's not outside. It's not inside. It's middle. OK. We got middle. And then this is still, this is still outside ones, right? And this is still inside ones. And what would you call this one? Middle again. Just different middle. And then last, so we've got FMOIMO. 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 So some people just like to say like FOIL. You can make up your new acronym if you like FMOIMO or FMOIMO. OK. If you would do FMOIL, then you would get x times x squared is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x, then going from the inside, plus 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. Once again, you have some like terms, the 2x squared and the 3x squared. Notice those are the same as we had over here. The minus 3x and the plus 6x are also like terms. And when you combine them, you get the exact same answer that we did with the chart method. But it doesn't roll off your tongue like the moon.